a todos y a todas, ¿qué tal? Estamos aquí en esta plataforma virtual de contenidos digitales para mujeres ciber y estamos aquí con Lisa Forte, que es una ponente que nos va a acompañar eh, durante este evento, una keynote speaker que ha venido desde muy lejos. Lisa Forte, ella es partner al Red Goat y eh, queríamos eh, ver qué nos tiene que contar. Lisa, how are you? Welcome to Mujeres Ciber. Thank you, thank you, it's great to be here. Hope you are having a good stay here at Spain and you like this beautiful event. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love Spain. Yeah, yes. that's good. Um, <laughs> well, I wanted to ask you about you. Tell us something about you, or something about your career, your, so our, our audience could know a bit more about you. Yeah, sure. So I actually started my career in a really strange way. I started um, by looking after ships to protect them from pirates off the coast of Somalia. So this was all about security and making sure the pirates couldn't get on board the ships and attack them. Um, so it was a really unique way of getting into security that a lot of people don't realize. And um, uh, what is your... What is your uh, education, no? where do you come from, apart from that? So I actually studied law. And ah, you studied law. Yeah, I studied law in the UK, and then I did a master's in law and maritime law, and then ended up in security. So you don't need to do computer science to work in cybersecurity. That, that's one of the things that everyone's talking about uh, in this event, and I think it's important to encourage people, and women in, in this case, that there's not so much need of technical skills to have a job or a place in this yeah. field, no? Yeah. What do you actually do in your work, in your company, Red Goat? So I actually go into companies and help them prepare for a cyber attack. So we run a simulation that they have been attacked and they have to make decisions and they have to decide what they're going to do and how to protect their company and their clients to prepare. So you are the, like this role play that... Exactly, role exactly, play, no? yes. That's a play. common thing since a few years ago. In the cybersecurity field, we talk about Uh, incident response mm -hmm. because organizations have to be prepared, no? Like you say, because nowadays we all know that some something is going to happen someday, no? We don't work for avoiding incidents, we work to be prepared, no? So that's, uh, but do you do a technical re incident response or is a role play that involves more, more uh, a, a higher level Perspective. Yeah, it's a higher level perspective, but it shows that there's so many different roles in cybersecurity. You don't need to be able to code and do all of that necessarily. There's loads of other things that are really important for men and women to, to do in cybersecurity. Do you think there, I don't know how I think in in UK, you know, <laughs> or um, I mean, in terms of how many women are Uh, working in the tech, in, not in the technical field, in cybersecurity or in technology no? field. Here we have in Spain many important women going on. We have the, the, the numbers are increasing, but there's still a lot of work to do. How are things in England? Like really bad in England, in, worse. in the UK, worse, way worse. So Spain, are, you are the only one working there. <laughs> <laughs> worse in many ways in the UK. Um, but in this particular sense, it's, uh, we're about 20% and Spain is about 25% yeah. of women. So you're doing, Spain is doing much better than Italy, France, Germany, UK. We are, we are lower. And why do you think this is like that? Um, I think there's so many problems with it, and I think certainly in the UK, we don't sell it to children, to young girls in school well enough. They don't want to learn computer science. They don't want to go into cyber. Um, so we don't have people going into university. So in the UK, we only get 5% of our kids studying computer science. That's it, 5%. So it's really, really, really low. So we've got a big problem in the UK. What do you think it can be done for, for uh, getting, solving the problem? Better numbers, yeah. Yeah, I think we need to really sell it um, better to the young girls and show them that women can do this job and it's great and there's loads of opportunity. Um, I think the problem is in the movies, it's always a bloke, a man with a hoodie yeah, in so a basement. <laughs> Someone is, it was talking about the hoodie. Some of your colleagues in this uh, event was talking about the hoodies. And 
I, 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 I'm, I can say that I'm one of the only, on the, I think maybe the only hacker that goes with suit, no <laughs> hoodies, no? Because I like suits. <laughs> I, used to, I like hoodies also when I go to the gym or no? But um, yes, I think they made the, 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 the typical picture we see, uh, it's that one, no? Yes. We also see sometimes, uh, for example, when you see in some movies, no, in series, when you see like a bunch of hackers, many hackers uh, in the in this military room, yep. Indian guys, no, <laughs> doing like that. So I think maybe uh, if we change this and make this more attractive for uh, girls, yeah, no, do you think we could get uh, better numbers? We could get. Uh, we could inspire these young uh, girls? Yes, there's a lot of research that suggests that before the age of 10 years old, that's the key period to show them that it's a good career and make them want to join it. I think that's a, that, that's a very good age. As we know also that in our life, uh, we keep on changing our decisions and our... Uh, you know, and, and the things we think about, no? Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the biggest problems in life, no? That our, our needs are changing always, no? <laughs> and we will get some, something, we mm, desire another different thing, no? Uh, in this way, uh, what would you suggest uh, people or young girls to do? And which advice could you give them? I think the key thing to do is to go and look at different people who are in the industry already, the women who are role models in the industry. But I think also as people like myself and like other women in the industry, we need to be out there on Instagram, on, on Twitter and on social media showing, showing that work. this is what our job is. This is how it is. It's cool. It's awesome. We need to do a better job as well to promote it. And how, you, how do you think you could get more audience in this uh, platforms, no, in these social media networks, networks, because it it seems like uh, even though we are we have uh, uh, some examples, no, of people that get there of, in our of our field, no, and have uh, followers and can be a real influence for these girls or guys, no, whatever, and it seems like uh, people like football players, YouTubers now. So when you talk about digital ex influencers, they think on YouTubers, no? No yes. hackers or mm. uh, incident response. No, no, that's very boring, no? Yes, I went to a school in, in the UK and I asked the girls, what is it you want to be when you're older? And they said, professional TikToker, yeah, which yeah, I yeah, had yeah. to look up. <laughs> so I didn't know what that I was. I have to say I have a, 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 a social media account in almost every... Uh, social media need network because I publish them, um, no, our work, but TikTok, no. <laughs> uh, my daughter is always asking me why not, and I said, no, that's a, uh, that's a line, there's a, there's a red line there. No? Um, and I don't know if something you would want to share about your experience to these young girls for to uh, finish this interview. I hope you've liked this interview and you like your stay here at Mujeres Ciber and, and at Spain. Yes, Spain is amazing. I'd just say to anybody who's watching this, who's thinking about getting into cyber, it is a great, great community. So many opportunities, so many challenges, lots of things you can do with your career. It's really rewarding and it's a, an area of growth everywhere. Thank you very much, Elisa, for so being much. with us and hope you enjoy your stay. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.